Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And we're going to be talking about Al Roker today. Yes, Al Roker is coming with the shits. He said he gives two shits of anything this man is talking about. <laughs> oh, boy. Poor Al, poor Al, poor Al. Well, thank y'all for coming to the channel and being here with me today. Cha, cha, cha. We got to talk about Mr. Al Roker over there on the, deta- uh, on the Today Show. He's a meteorologist. He's been with the company or um, news streaming programming today for 40 years and um sometimes he gets uh startled or he has a very long pausing moment like he's a robot or something like they said something and it activated something in him and he just thought having a blank stare <laughs> yeah we would call him a robot or he's been programmed all right but either way Al has been around for a very long time. Very, very long time. And I don't know what's going on with him, but he's, you know, other than him definitely losing weight. Looking good, feeling good. I think he had a bout with prostate cancer. But he caught it in time and he's, you know, went through that treatment. But I don't know what's going on with our meteorologist on the NBC Today show. He's just having a fit. Two of his co-hosts were sitting there talking, and were colleagues, I should say, and they started singing Whitney Houston songs, and he gave this expression. <laughs> now, I don't know if he fruity tooted, you know what I'm saying? But I've never known of no heterosexual man kissing or even playing like they're going to kiss. His wife needs to just come get him, and they go on into the sunset and retire. Now, like I said, he's been there for 40 freaking years. You would think he would want to sit down somewhere and just smell the roses for a long time. Because he's definitely in the age-appropriate place to sit there and retire. I'm like, what are you going to do? Are you going to wait until you die before you sit there and, you know, enjoy the fruits of your labor? I mean, he's been with them. From reading this article, he's been around for a long, long time. Because, hell, I remember him when I was young. So, if I'm 54, damn, he got to be in his 70s. You know what I'm saying? He's still trying to work. I mean, I know he has a cushiony job. He's a meteorologist. And then once he finished doing what he had to do, uh, and I think he's jealous of Melvin because Melvin is younger. He probably see himself in Melvin. But Melvin's thriving now. And one day, Melvin's going to be as old as Al. And he's going to be feeling some kind of way. I mean, damn, he's 68 years old. I could have sworn he was in his 70s, but Al Roker is 68. And I'm like, man, you don't pass retirement. You're supposed to be retired. Not still on this show. I don't understand. This is got that's like greed or something. Like when it's time for you to retire, retire. Before they take that away from us, the powers that be. They'll have us working until we can't. See straight, hear straight, walk straight. I mean, he's just setting a bad example. Cause damn sure I wanna be out there from the working scene at least about 62 but no more than 65 i want to be out you understand what i'm saying so i don't know maybe it's a, a thing with al if he felt like he would retire he would be feel lesser than to some degree is what i'm thinking but i'm like hell because you gotta have attitude 
with your co-host because they having a good time and they chit-chatting away. Uh, and then you looking at them like you want to string them up somewhere. Or put duct tape on their mouths. That's kind of like a little offensive. Don't you think, Al? Don't you think, Sam? What are we going to do with Al? Al, 68 years old. He done passed pre-retirement, which is 62. When you're really thinking about it, that you know your body needs a rest from everything and everybody. That's 65. Damn, he done went up to 68. Like he going to pop, blow up any day now. Damn. Right. Uh, it's called retirement. I'm sure you invested in it. Al, take it. But we got the sun. The U.S. sun giving us a um, article. That their journalist, journalists had put together on the sun's team. And um, they titled it, Rogers Over It. Today's Al Rogers glares at co-host Savannah Guthrie. And Craig Melvin, an uncomfortable live TV moment. <laughs> and if y'all, I'll redirect y'all to what actual visual they were referring to. I just put that in for good measure because I'm still trying to figure out he got a wife. Why he trying to kiss on a man and a white man at that? What, what, what Al ain't telling us? Okay, what is he not telling us? But yeah, he don't been in the business for 40 years. It's time for you to go. And then that's like the rainbow color. You think he a part of the LGBT community? And he's just not letting his wife know anything about it. I'm just saying. Why would you need a primary color type of colors? Uh, unless she was uh, alluding to the LGBT community. I just thought I would let that soak in and not say anything and see if anybody caught the tease, okay? But anyway, we know Al have a family. But that's the particular, is that what? No, that's not it. He has on a striped tie. But he just looks so, I mean, he did something phenomenal with leave, losing all that weight. But Al just don't like Melvin. Or is it Craig Melvin? Hell, I don't know. It's, it's one of the, I think it's two first names. But yeah, that fella, he he's don't like he don't like him, y'all. He don't like him. And I don't understand. You should love him. Because he's probably gonna be the one to replace you. That is the particular picture they're talking about. When Melvin or Craig Melvin and Savannah was in there just trying to sing Whitney Houston songs. And he just sitting up there looking like, Y'all can't sing. This is no uh talent show. This is business. We have to be serious. <laughs> But that's it's a particular picture that's going around social media that uh, Al Roker was very uh, alluding to. He was very upset because they were just talking nonsense. And he didn't feel like being bothered with all that. But we're going to get into the uh, article, like I said. Uh, Brittany Sims wrote it up for the sun.com. And we already gave you the title, which is Rokers Over It. Today's Al Roker glares at co-host Savannah Guthrie and Craig Melvin, an uncomfortable live TV moment. Yes, that's him, and that's what he was looking like. The Today Show meteorologist Al Roker was caught glaring at his co-host Savannah Guthrie and Craig Melvin in an awkward moment on live TV. During the pop culture segment, Savannah and Craig started singing. A Whitney Houston song. And Al was clearly not entertained. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Al was not having a good time. And he did not participate in the singing. Okay, Al. You ain't got to. You ain't got no pipes. But you can throw a, a diddly here too. And we can understand it. And we can stomp, stomp our feet to it. Or clap our hands. Or uh, snap our fingers. If you ain't moving where you can groove us like that. Yeah, sit there and be quiet. Sit there and be quiet. But anyway, it says on Thursday show, Shanine Jones led a segment on the late Whitney Houston. Uh, the stage adaptation of her hit movie, The Bodyguard, is returning to theaters. And the show played a clip of her singing her classic hit, I Will Always Love You. For the film's 30th anniversary, The Bodyguard will be back in theaters for two days in November. This comes just one month before premiere 
before the premiere of Whitney Houston's Biop. Can you sing I'm Every Woman, Savannah, asked Craig. After the segment ended, they started singing and having a great time until Craig saw Al's face. <laughs> he did not smile and look at the camera with a serious expression. No, Craig asked Al as the meteorologist, meteorologist glared at him. When if today's host or co-host went on to talk about the bodyguard, Al did not participate and sat quietly, looking like he was just wanted to top women. Looking like he just wanted to topic to be over. He just wanted the topic to be over and done with. Okay. Roasted by Roker. This isn't the first time Craig has been shut down by Al. Earlier this month, right before Al left to go on vacation, he returned to the show to talk with his co host about their summer highlights. Now, see, Al, when you off and you out on planning a trip, don't come back to the work thinking they're going to miss you because you're not gone. That's why you have vacation, vacation time. Go on vacation. Leave your work family to their own devices, okay? They would get over you not being there for a week or two. How many days you were out, don't really know. But there's no sense you treating Melvin Craig like that. But anyway, going back to the article. Al Craig, Shanine, and Dylan Dreyer all sat behind the hostess. They all ate pizza and laughed as Chanel started off the segment. So, here's the thing. We all wanted to share the highlights of our summer because it's the end of the summer, he, she said. We talked about this this morning, or we talked about this before. Sometimes you have pictures on your phone and you say, Oh, I'm going to print them out. Or put them in a book and you don't do anything with them. But let's talk about the highlights or maybe one highlight. Why don't the why don't we start with you, Craig? Interrupted. Chanel responded, No, the prompter says Dylan. Al spoke up and said, No, no. We've got our own graphics kind of line up. Oh, I'm sorry, Craig said, holding onto a mug. Al dissed his co anchor by saying with a serious face. Have you just started this show? <laughs> Was he throwing a hell of a lot of shade? Did he throw the whole tree at Melvin? Did he throw the whole tree at Melvin Craig, y'all? Because he wasn't hearing it. He said, protocol is protocol. If you see the prompter telling you this, that, and the third, you need to do this, that, and the third. You don't go off on your own volition. Okay, you, you sit down. You understand. You've been here. You, you ain't, this ain't your first day starting. This ain't your first week starting, man. That's what Al was giving uh, Craig Melvin. But then he says, no, I just thought it would be a whimsical, Craig said with a shrug. <laughs> yeah, evidently they're probably trying to push lightly Al out the show. They want him to go. Hell, he's 68 years old. Why is he doing this still? Okay, I know the money's probably still good. But ain't no sense of you working up to the day you die. There's no sense in that. But, you know, Al will probably retire and die the next day because he'll be so, you know, don't know what to do with himself. Or he just be bothering everybody because he don't have any purpose anymore. He think he less stand because he don't have a job. And that's a sad way of doing things and being. Whew. But anyway, going back to the story, he said, despite his not so funny disposition towards his co-host, sometimes Al is actually going through a lot right now. He has fans word after he posted a video about his medical struggles. Al took to his Instagram on Saturday to update followers about his health i've been on vacation for a few weeks then back to work he said as he walked down a street in new york wearing a baseball cap and a, a swat a swago state shirt the 68 year old continued but also i kind of tweaked my knee a little bit on vacation so i had to lay off of walking a bit oh i got x-rays and everything like uh that and the doctor said Probably in the next six months to a year, have my left knee, uh, which was replaced about 18 years ago. I need to have another replacement from what the doctor said. He let the Today Show fans know that he can still walk and do things, but he is still nursing it and walking a bit slower. So Al is depressed about his, uh, his health and he can't do the running and jogging or walking real fast. 
to keep his uh, metabolism up. And they probably have been whispering in his ears, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to go, Al. Enjoy your life. Stop with the hustle and bustle, everyday grind, coming in to do a show. And Al just holding on for dear life. He said, uh-uh. I ain't letting Craig Melvin do nothing. He's sitting up there taking the spot. They liking him more than they liking me. No, Al, you're old. You're out to pasture, baby. We need you to move on so somebody else can come in and do the same thing that you did. Flourish within the show and mature and get old. And when it's time for Craig Melvin to leave, he going to leave too. Okay, but anyway, going back, it says, don't overdo it. Do what you can and don't go crazy. He encouraged his followers. Al um, then teased at the end that there is a big announcement coming up that is very amusing and fans should stay tuned. He would reveal more around the beginning of October. Fans wished him well in the comments after some thoughts he retired from the show. After some thought he retired from the show. Hell, I did too. I'm like, you know, I used to watch it in my early years, news and all that kind of craziness. But then I'm like, oh, that's just propaganda. They're just feeding us lies. And it just is what it is. So I don't catch news too much. Because uh, I think Trump was right. Tribute to Trump, our ex president, uh, he said it was false news. And I really believe sometimes the news. Uh, that they bring out to us is pretty much false and uh, it leads us into thinking a certain way and you know if we didn't see some things for ourselves we don't know if it was true or not even though they put it on TV that's basically what Tripoli Trump was talking about that's why he was calling the local news stations fake programming news but uh yeah so that's all I got about little Al Roker trying to feel a little something something don't know why Really don't know why. I wonder do I have another video that plays the time. Uh, it's not coming. It's buffering. Oh, we don't need to hear that either. But um, I don't have the audio. It's not playing. I don't want to waste your time. Because I know time is everything. Time is money. So I appreciate you all giving me your... Um, your time and attention to my videos i mean your family we're family and i know everybody can't come in at one time but when you do come in the house to visit with me and we sit and chop it up please make sure you're subscribing and please uh like the videos and share if you care all right but i will see y'all next video thank you bye-bye